Well. How now, brown cow? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think a prospective student uh, in the theology department can expect three things that come to mind right away. Uh, depth, breadth, and then heart. Well, let me start with breadth. By breadth, I mean that um, being a theologian or studying the theology requires you to actually become good at several different sorts of things. You have to study history, you have to study philosophy, you have to become a skillful, in skillful interpreter of, uh, of texts. Uh, depth, uh, I mean that we spend a lot of time in scripture uh, that's our primary text in all our classes. Uh, we dive deep into scripture. We're very interested in um, what scripture has to say to us in this context now and what it means to speak rightly of God and all things in relationship to God, which is what theology is all about. And then the third component is heart. And what I mean by that is that we're really interested in each of our students as, uh, as people, as image-bearing individuals. Um, and we want them to be formed in a way that doesn't just take their academic rigor into account, but also their personal spiritual formation, um, their character, their devotion, um, their walk with God. We care about those things as well. So you can uh, get a theology degree that focuses on youth ministry or historical slash systematic theology or biblical studies. And also with the professor that you take, we have a huge theology staff many professors, and they all teach in their unique ways. I think one thing that makes Dort's theology program unique is that the professors are very invested in you while you're uh, studying theology. They want to challenge you with passages that other people in the Reformed faith are going to challenge you with. So um, for me, being a girl studying theology, my professor would say, hey, why don't you write a paper about this passage that says women shouldn't do ministry, so that when the time comes for you getting challenged on that, you have an answer, you have a response, and you've been informed, and you've studied this, and you, you have somewhere to stand. I remember one of my classes, the very first assignment that we got at the beginning of the semester was to read the entire Gospel of Matthew in like two days, and I was like, Huh, that's a really interesting homework assignment, but it was like the first time I'd ever read the Gospel of Matthew without taking any breaks. And so it provided some insights that I hadn't had before. One of the ways Dort really prepared me and got me ready for the real world um, was by all the connections that the professors have. Um, our professors are connected very globally as well as locally, so when it came time to um, start discerning, should I go to seminary, should I get a job, should I go on the mission field, they had connections to all of those places and they were able to help me through that discernment process. We're trying to get students prepared by teaching them to think and teaching them to wrestle with, um, with the text of Scripture and to say, what does this text of Scripture have to say to us living at this time in this place in history? We are going to like the source of what our doctrine and our beliefs are and we're seeing what it has to say for itself and uh, working together to determine what it is saying. More important than the how or the what is the why. That's what theology gives you. It gives you the why. 